Oh yeah. It's been a minute since uh, we done since we were doing this on the regular. But we is back at it. You know what I'm saying? Because much like the beat, uh, you know, show must go on. But first <laughs> Intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, this is a requested reaction I actually got a while back from uh, Mr. Ultimate Omega. So, Mr. Uh, UO, a um, my bad for taking so long with this. Your boy was dealing with some things and was busy working on some things too. Uh, in case y'all didn't realize, I got a second channel, gaming channel. Been playing some WWE 2K23. I just finished the female My Rise. I just wrapped up the men's My Rise. I'm just, and I, I got the videos all edited and everything. I just got to finish uploading um, the rest of them so I can get into the showcase mode. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to go see what's going on over there, link is in the, is in the uh, description. It's in the channel banner. It's in the, the uh, About Me section. So, absolutely no excuse as to why you cannot find a second channel. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, enough about that stuff. Oh, one more thing real quick. In case y'all missed the uh, short. Told y'all I was working on a remix. I'm saying. I'm saying. Make sure y'all are keeping your eyes peeled. Make sure you're keeping your ear holes nice and clean. You know what I'm saying? Free of the wax. So you can hear the final product when it drops. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Anyway. All right, y'all. <laughs> Enough of the updates. Let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is Mr. Ultimate Omega's um, one of many uh, spoken word type of tracks, I guess you could call it, or his text to speech type of track. Um, and this one is called Morrow's Onslaught. So this is going to be a very, very interesting piece. Not the first time we reacted to Mr. Ultimate Omega. I will have the playlist pop up at the end. So if you want to see my last uh, reaction to Mr. Ultimate Omega's um, text-to-speech style of music. Certainly are more than welcome to do so. Highly encourage y'all to do so. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Once again, from Mr. Ultimate Omega, this is Morrow's Onslaught. So let's go ahead and get into this. Without further ado, I'd like to hit hit. How intriguing, how lonely I've become, yet, how wondrous, now that you're here. An opposite to my darkness, a beacon, a fleeting hope, destined, to be snuffed out. Ooh, ooh man, we, we still, we still, you know, uh, treading, if you will, on that dark path, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, yo, this person, um, apparently likes to be... In the darkness however you know there is a possibility that someone could possibly help bring them out of that darkness however the only hope that only chance of coming out of that darkness is in danger um themselves which is rather unfortunate but let's go ahead and get right back into this a tomorrow to my morning sight yes i shall call you tomorrow so it's not a person, but rather it's the next day, which sounds like, okay, they're going through a rough patch now, but the one thing that they have going for, going for them is tomorrow, tomorrow, why? Because with tomorrow, everything starts over, you know what I mean? You have another opportunity to, uh, to start anew, to start fresh, you know what I'm saying? So let's go, let's go. You speak out of context, Morrow. These nice guys, these creatures, addicted to benevolence, yet tainted by an inferiority complex. Too insecure. Hmm, hmm. Interesting, interesting. You're too passively meek, with delusions of silent superiority. Bound to the background, ever pitying their fellow man. Overly compassionate towards a society, a spoiled sheep. We're getting into society and some of the things that humanity be about these days. The hypocrisy, if you will, 
Mm, let's go. Welcome to this domain, Mara. An entity of light, crafted by pure intention, manifested from that pathway, which leads to hell. Which means not all things that appear to be good, you know what I mean, appear to be beautiful, pleasant, whatever. Doesn't mean it's necessarily something that is good for us, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh. This hollow ground you stand upon, ignorantly preaching love to this embodiment of hatred. Too far from that captivating sky. You chose to coexist to this bringer of darkness. This saddened muse, sickened from its sadly woke, opened eyes. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like to me, in my inter this is up to my, my interpretation. I could be wrong. But for what I'm gathering with all this information that I'm gathering from Mr. Ultimate Omega, it sounds like, okay, associating with something, a bringer of, of darkness, it sounds like, okay. Rather than questioning these things that are changing our societal norms, our everyday life, you know what I mean, that may may come in the form of something that you think is good, really it's not, it's something that comes from a place that is, that is, that is dark, it's evil, you know what I mean, what is woke, you know what I'm saying, ain't, it, it ain't good, it ain't from a place that, that is pure. It's coming from a place that is dark and evil that's causing this corruption uh, amongst our society. You know what I'm saying? Amongst our, in our humanity, if you will. That's the vibe I'm getting from this message. Anyway. New to my darkness, ever falling, yet succumbing to the words from this disenchanting, wandering muse. This voice inside, which is taught to be the voice of a fabled fallen angel. Hmm. Sounds like you're talking about Satan right there. Satan was the fallen angel. You know, he actually, Satan was uh, excommunicated um, from the heavens because he was trying to run heaven. He was trying to take over heaven from God. So that's what that sounds like. When I, when I hear fallen angel, that's what that reminds me of. These self-loathing words don't frighten me, for I was born from this vessel's noble intentions. To protect its fellow man, the only way it could. This dark logic, twisted, to their unknowing benefit, to create unity, amongst the confused. Mm -hmm. Amongst the confused, or amongst the ignorant. And for those who don't know what ignorant means, it means ignorant means lack of knowledge. So... And, uh, which reminds me of like, you know, when people back up certain movements, like look at the Black Lives Matter movement, for example, you know what I mean? We all thought, okay, Black Lives Matter was supposed to be a movement where you look out for the black community, but really it was used as a tool to help benefit the founders of the Black Lives Matter movement. You look at the feminist movement, um, nowadays, the modern day fe feminist movement, it's not about women being, being treated as equals you know, uh, to, to their male counterparts, but rather they want to be treated as the su superior gender. It's just, they use a lot of code words to make you think that, Oh, it's about equality. No, you don't want equality. You want superiority. You know what I mean? This whole woke movement nonsense too. Yeah. And this is why, this is why, um, these movements will never be taken seriously and they won't last very long. I'm just saying, but anyway, the desire to keep this domain empty through evil empathy, yet titling me with a beautiful name. Subconsciously connected to this vessel's dreams of being a preacher whom's not shackled by a stuttering tongue. Making musical redemption written to grim stories crafted by a resolve to be the father it cannot be in reality. I need to hear that again. That's really interesting choice of words there. So making musical redemption. Crafted by a resolve to be the father, it cannot be in reality. 
so what are we saying that like the stuff we talk about in her music it's it's a bunch of it's made of a, of a bunch of lies like it's a reality that we all wish to live but no deep down inside that it, it can never be true I mean music music is an art form it is up to everyone's interpretation at the end of the day just like my interpretation with this you know what I'm saying it is what it is anyway you are a powerful force, but now I exist to battle the darkness. To prove a single glimmer of this fleeting light, destined to be snuffed out, can easily spark and form a big bang. Thank you for welcoming to your domain. Alright y'all, so that was Mr. Ultimate Omega's um, song, uh, Marl's Onslaught, and um, yeah, very a very, very interesting piece, a very interesting new style of music, I guess we, we can call it, and um, yeah, so Marl's Onslaught, yeah, it, 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 it it's a... Uh, it, it, it's a it's a trip man because now that i think about the name of it and what they were talking about here it's like what's next what's what what other crazy movement you know what i mean are are they going to come out with next you know what i mean and, and try to make it sound like it's coming from a place of good of it's a place of purity but really it comes from a a dark place you know what i mean and it's actually a movement that represents evil you know what i'm saying um yeah uh very interesting stuff uh, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. Cause I mean, whew, my man be coming out with some with some deep stuff, man. I'm just saying. But anyway, we really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, y'all know y'all know to do with that link for the original video. If you wanna watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy the vibes here, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. Don't forget to ding that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the other links in the description down below. That'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, till next one, y'all bless one. All right, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, Jimmy? My name's Jimmy Badass. What happened to that dude with a little kid? Who's Jimmy Sucks? And he gave him a fucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why he's sad. If he's sad, he's sad. He's sad. He's sad. He's happy. I don't be too happy. I don't be expecting shit. It's like it curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.